Thank you, Madam Chair, and uh, thank you for patience, uh, distinguished uh, participants from respective countries. Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I bring warm greeting from the Republic of Vanuatu, one of the most uh, asset-prone Pacific Island countries on the front line of climate change. Uh, the location of Vanuatu in the Pacific uh, rims of fire means that it is exposed to a greater range of assets compared to most other Pacific countries. It is exposed to both hydrometeorological hazards, such as tropical cyclones, floods, and droughts, in addition to geophysical hazards, such as volcanoes, earthquakes, tsunamis, and last light. Uh, climate change is likely to increase the frequency of some of, if not of all these events. Last year alone, 2010, uh, the national government, through the coordination of the National Disaster Management Office, a directly response to six major events in Vanuatu caused by droughts, flash flooding, cyclone, a volcanic eruption, uh, costing the region around two, two million US. In addition to this, there were some smaller hazardous events which caused significant damage to properties but were not large enough to warrant the national response. Vanuatu has made some key achievement in the risk, disaster risk management uh, Erna were first, and we are the first country in the Pacific region to develop the National Action Plan for Disaster Risk Reduction and the Disaster Management. The NAP was developed in 2005 and it was by the Vanuatu's Council of Ministers in 2006. It builds upon the Pacific Disaster Risk Reduction and Disaster Management Framework for Action 2005 to 2015 and the Yoko Framework for Action 2005 to 2015. <clears throat> there have been discussions in the country relating to the potential for the measure of the Vanuatu National Advisory Committee on the Climate Change with the NAP Task Force and also the development of just joint set of implementation arrangement plans for the NAP. The National Action Plan for Adaptation and Climate Change a policy uh, put the NTMO and the Department of Meteorological Service are highly supportive of these interpretations. Madam Chair, there are but a few examples of initiatives undertaken to realize the commitment to reduce the impact of disaster in Vanuatu. However, we still face significant challenges. For example, although the NAP has been officially endorsed by the cabinet and incorporated into the government's priority action agenda, it is not fully implemented at all levels. Little attention is given to the risk reduction efforts, and as heavy emphasis is placed on the response measures, we therefore support all the efforts made by donors and development partners to assist in our endeavors to, to improve the understanding of disasters as a development issues and encourage investment in risk reduction measures. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you for this.